Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Polaroid Hero section with Divi's Transform options. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. I'll just call it transform and then I'm going to click on use the Divi builder. So for this example, we are going to build from scratch. However, you can actually use this design on an existing page. All you have to do is to add a new section. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on build from scratch and then I'm going to click here on single column, close it and then go to my section settings. Now over here, I need to add a divider. So I'm going to come over here to design dividers. So the divider I need to add is going to be placed at the bottom. So I'm going to click here on bottom and I'm going to choose the style. And the style I'm going to go with is I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm looking for a wave and here it is. So I'm going to select it. Now let's add our divider color. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now this mint green color, if you want to use this color or any other settings, uh, to match the uh, tutorial that I'm doing, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so next I'm going to add my height. So here for the height, I'm going to add it as 23VW. And then next, I'm going to go to spacing because here I need to add a margin to the top. So I'm going to go ahead, add my margin. My bottom margin is going to be zero pixels and top and bottom padding is going to be zero pixels. So there we go. I'm going to save this for now. And then over here on the rows, I actually need to add three columns. So I'm just going to come back over here and just change this to three columns. Now let's make some adjustments on our rows. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to enter my row settings. Click on design sizing. So the very first thing we're going to do here is to customize our gutter width. I'm going to set this to one. And my width here is going to be set to 90 VW and my maximum width to 100%. Now let's go to spacing and remove some padding as well. So I'm going to set this to zero. Do the same over here as well. Now we want these columns to always be next to each other. So in order for us to achieve that, I need to add a bit of CSS code by coming over here to advanced, custom CSS. And in the main element, I'm just going to paste my code like that. And uh, this code can also be found in the post that I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so now that we've done this, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then next, we're going to add some images to our columns. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, and search for my image module. So I'm just going to search, type in a few letters, and then I'm going to select. So here, we're going to need a square image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. And as you can see here, the dimensions are 410 by 410. So even if it's 800 by 800, it works because it needs to be a square. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click upload an image. Next, I'm going to come over here to design alignment and make sure that this image is aligned center. And then I'm going to go to sizing. And then here, I just need to make sure it's set to force full width. So that's what we need to do for now. I'm going to save this. And then next over here, I'm going to add a text module. So I'm just going to search it right here. Click uh, select it. And in here, I'm just going to add some text. And in this case, I'm just going to call it Polaroid. Now over here on the design, let's go head over to text because here we're going to change the font and um, choose Advent Pro. And here it is. I'm going to select it. And for the alignment, it needs to be centered. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here, center the text. And I also need it to stand out here. So I am going to change my color here by clicking on this eyedropper tool and pasting my color. So that's much better. Now we need to um, add a, uh, the text size. So for the desktop size, I'm going to set it to 1VW. So I'm just going to come over here and paste it. And on the tablet and phone, we need to make sure that it looks great on that as well. So let's set it to 2VW. So I'm going to click here on this uh, little icon, click on tablet. And then here I'm going to set it to 2VW. And that's going to be the same for the mobile as well. So you can see here that the size is pretty good and it looks great on all mobile devices. All right, so moving on, uh, we also need to add some letter spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add my letter spacing here. And we also need to add a line height of 1.8. Next, I'm going to come over here to sizing and set my width to 100%. 
And uh, for my top margin, I am also going to set this as well by coming over here to spacing and adding my top margin of 1VW. And then we're going to save. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to copy these two modules and add them onto these uh, remaining two columns. So the quickest way to do it is just to come over here to wireframe mode, and we just need to duplicate it here so that it's easier to do that way. So I'm just going to click here, duplicate, drag the image over, duplicate it one more time, drag the image over, and you want to do the same to the text as well. Next, I'm going to come over here to my row settings, and in column one, I'm going to click the gear icon and set my background color to white. So I'm going to come over here, add my color. I'm going to come over here to design, spacing, and add a padding of 2VW. To the, in fact, this needs to go to the bottom. Now it's time to add our border, but you know what? I prefer seeing what I'm uh, doing here, so I'm going to switch back over here to the desktop view. Right, so... What we're going to do now is we're going to add our borders. So I'm going to come over here to border. For my border width, I'm going to set this to 1VW. And then I'm going to go in individually and add them here as well. So my top border width here is going to be 2VW. Same applies with the right border. But for the bottom one here, we're going to set this to 1VW. And the left border needs to be 2VW. Now we need to change the border color by just setting it to white. Next, we're going to add a box shadow. So I'm going to come over here and choose the first one. All right, so now that we've designed this first one, we want to apply the same style to the rest of the images. So the quickest way to do it is just to right-click on this column here and say, copy item styles, and then right-click on these two here. Let's start with the uh, middle one. Paste item styles, and let's do the same. Paste item, item styles, and now we've just added the same style to all the images. Now let's head over, let's go back to column one, design, and this time we need to go into transform and we need to go to the second tab here, transform, translate, and let's break the chain first because the values that we're going to add here are going to be different. So here on the top, we're going to start with adding minus 6VW. And then on the X axis, we're going to add minus 11VW. Next, we're going to come over here to transform rotate. And on the first option, we're going to add 341 degrees. Let's go back over here. Let's go to column two options, design, transform. And we're going to go to transform translate as well. Break the chain. And on the Y axis, we're going to add zero VW. And then on the X axis, we're going to add minus 22. And then on the rotates, we are going to add 10 degrees to the top to the first option. Let's move on to column three. So I'm going to click this little back arrow, click on the gear icon, design, trans, uh, transform, and let's go again to transform, translate, break the chain. And this time it's 12 VW on the Y axis, minus 46. Now for this one here, we're going to do a bit something a bit different. So let's go to transform scale. And here, we're going to add 68% to both axes. So I'll, I'll just add it to one of them. There we go. And then I'm also going to rotate this. So I'm going to click here on the third tab. And for the first option, I'm going to set this to 31 degrees and save. Save one more time. Now we need to add a new section. So I'll click here on this plus button. Click on regular. So let's close this for now and uh, let's head over here to our section settings, design, dividers, and like we did before, this is going to be to the bottom. Now it's time to choose our style and the style I'm going to go with is pretty much the same as the other one. So choose this wave and I'm going to set my color to white and for my divider height, I'm going to set it to 23VW. Now let's remove the top padding by coming over here to spacing. And here, we're going to set this to zero. So now it's time to add our column structure. So I'm going to save this and come over here to my wireframe mode. Click here to add my column structure. And like we did before, this is going to be three equal columns. We're just going to close this for now. And we're going to copy the row styles from here and paste them. Next, I also need to copy the uh, column settings. So I'm going to come over here. Let's see if I can get my styles here. 
Right, so I need to go here into my row settings, copy item styles, save that and then come over here. And I'm also going to do the same, paste item styles, paste item styles, paste item styles. Now let's take a look at this on the front view. So now we can see that our styles are pretty much copied. So the next stage now is to go to column one, transform styles by clicking here on this little gear icon, design, transform. And here I am going to add 75% to my X and Y axis. And then over here on the transform translate, I'm going to break the chain on the uh, Y axis. I'm going to set this to minus 14. And on the X axis, we're going to set this to minus eight. But these need to be set to VW. So just make sure that you set it to VW. Now let's go to transform and rotate. And we're going to set this to 35 degrees. And this needs to go on the first option. Now let's go to column two. So we're going to go back over here. Click on the gear icon. Design. Transform. So this time we're going to go to transform translate. Break the chain. On the x-axis, it's minus 17 VW. And on the y-axis, it's going to be 2 VW. On the rotate, on the first option, we're going to set this to 346. Now it's time to add our images to the modules. So I'm going to switch back over here to the wireframe view. I'm going to save this. So I'm going to duplicate my image here twice. Drag this one here to the first column. Drag the other one to the second column. And let's just switch over here and see what is happening. So we can see here, this is looking great. So finally, you just need to go in, change these images to whatever images you want to uh, add them to, but make sure they are squares. And then over here to the right, you can just add two text modules and just add uh, any information that you'd like in those text modules. Click on publish. And if you view this on different devices, you can see that it looks beautiful on the tablet view and also on the phone view. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.